Hi everyone, Rob the Average Long Guy. Welcome back. So I went away for about four days this past week and I knew there was a storm coming and I knew I was going to deal with a mess coming back. But I did not expect this. You can see in this picture here, there's leaves everywhere. The turf is covered in leaves. Almost the entire turf is just fully covered with leaves. Now to clear this out, normally I would take a blower and just blow it towards the edge of my woods and that would be the end of it. So if this is your situation and you can blow it towards the woodland area, go right ahead. That is the really probably the best way to go about this. Now for a lot of individuals, many people don't have a woodland area to blow their leaves towards. So in this case, normally they would have to mulch. Now you can't bag and all, but there's some cities that don't allow the disposal of leaves in their trash. So in this case, you're left with no choice but to mulch. Now it's very important to get the leaves off your turf. And the reason why, you can see in this picture, as I blow some of the leaves away from the grass, you can see there's yellow spots starting to develop. And the reason why is because those spots where the leaves were sitting was not getting as much sunlight, so they started to yellow. So you want to avoid keeping leaves on your turf for a long period of time. Now when you're mulching leaves, what you want to do is set your mower to the mulch mode. You don't want to side discharge. You want to be able to pick up the leaves and as it comes up, it'll get shredded by the blades. And then as it comes back down, it'll get shredded again. So that double, maybe triple shred action is going to help mulch the leaves down to itty bitty pieces. Now the very first thing you want to do is actually walk your turf and clear any major debris. The major debris I'm talking about are big sticks and pine cones. You wanna make sure you get rid of those and dispose of it. You don't wanna mow over sticks and pine cones only because it's gonna damage your mower blades and it's gonna cause more problem than you think. So avoid mowing those over. Pick them up where you see them. Now in the summertime, normally, I would normally go ahead and mow and then trim, then blow. But in the fall, you have to do the reverse. What you wanna do is blow first. You wanna blow all the leaves from your patio and all your leaves from your beds. You wanna blow it towards the grass where the mower can reach it. After you've blown the leaves towards the area where your mower can reach, what you want to do is take your mower, but instead of just mowing directly, remember we're not really mowing grass this time, we're trying to shred the leaves. So what you want to do is actually lift the mower blade about one to two higher than what you normally would mow. Raising your mower deck higher will allow the blades to solely focus on the leaves and it'll allow a little bit more airflow to go underneath the mower deck itself. This way the leaves can actually go up towards the mower blades, get shredded and come back down and as they come down they'll get shredded again. Now when you're mowing and mulching, it's going to take you a few passes to shred the leaves to where you want them. It's going to take about three passes. Two is really pushing it, but for me, it took me three passes. You can see on the first pass as I mowed, a lot of the leaves were shredded down, but then I needed to do a second pass. On the second pass, you can see the mower has shred the leaves down even more, but you can still see debris on the grass. It took me three passes to do this. You can see why I usually blow my leaves towards the edge of my woods. And the reason why is because when you mow and mulch your leaves, it does take a little bit of time because you have to do multiple passes in order to get it down into fine little pieces. You can see it's starting to get dark. So I'm gonna call it a night, but I'm gonna try to show a picture of how the turf looks right now, right before it gets too dark. You may not be able to see too well, but we're gonna take a look at the next morning. The very next morning, it is roughly about 11 a.m. and you can see the turf is pretty much cleared and it looks pretty good so I'm pretty happy with this result. Now it's important to note since we're in the fall weather right now Bermuda growth has slowed so this is the time when you want to back off on cutting your Bermuda as often. Before I had to cut my Bermuda every three to four days but now I'm backing off and really focusing on cutting the Bermuda grass every two weeks. Now I said cutting the Bermuda grass every two weeks, it does not mean I'm only mowing every two weeks. You see, I'm still keeping my weekly mow schedule, but instead of cutting Bermuda, I'm really focused on getting debris off the turf. Remember, you're not really looking to cut Bermuda often. Because Bermuda growth has slowed, you shouldn't have to cut often. On top of that, if you mess up or you scalp a certain part of your Bermuda, it's just gonna leave a big scalp mark and it's gonna take a long time to recover, so you don't want that. So, you cut your Bermuda when you have to, 
but in between that when you don't have to cut you want to make sure the turf is clear and to do that you raise the mower height and get rid of leaves as you see them hope you found this video useful stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching